Another beautiful morning and we are on the Generation Z business show with yours truly as always, Yesene James. Good morning, Lagos. It's another Tuesday morning and I'm here in the studio with you as usual, Yesene James and my lovely co-host. Arupa, yeah. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't pleasant, but we Aww. move, we move, Aww. we move. Aww. Today in the studio, we have with us Mr. Keji Giwa, CEO. Should I, is that the right thing to say? Yeah. <laughs> CEO, <laughs> CEO Shortlet Apartment. Um, and he's going to be talking to us about his business journey and sharing with us, you know, all that he had to mm-hmm. do to get to mm-hmm. where he is today. So we want to hear your lovely voice. So we want you closer to the mic, okay. you know, with, <laughs> without any COVID implications. Sure. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so good morning. Following. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me on board. You are the CEO of Digital Bananas Technology. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you're also the CEO of, you know, short led Apartments. I mean, those are the two things I know. I don't know. What, do you have any? Because I feel like you have like, you know, almost like he, other he, businesses he that we're not hearing like about. It. It but maybe, like it. yeah. <laughs> or like there's something coming up. Uh, I, I think it's, up. it's a simple case of this is a problem and this is the solution to that problem. Mm. You know, so um, it's very, it's that simple. So, uh, digital bananas technology was focused on providing digital transformation solutions within the emerging market. And within that same emerging market, we discovered an opportunity within the real estate market mm. and still expanding. Just basically, you could say, um, using that same digital transformation initiative to evolve, uh, an industry that's already there. You know, and that has a uh, huge potential. I find that a lot of people go into businesses because, you know, they've had one experience mm-hmm. or the other. And then, mm-hmm. you know, it just jolted them towards it. I mean, I don't know if that's the way, you know. So, um, uh, basically, I was staying in hotels a great oh. deal. You know, um, the first hotel I stayed in was probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my life. Um, oh my I just, God. you <laughs> open up the toilet. I'm and going to cry. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But whatever I saw scarred me for life. And I was like, you know what? That's not going to happen ever again. Oh, that's right. Really, that's, that's, that's really I think a lot of people can actually relate to your story about the hotels and, and all of that. It, it's, it's emotional. I'm, I'm feeling uh, uh, the past is, is, is coming back. <laughs> the, the good thing about short letter homes is it's pretty easy to run as long as you're able to give customers exactly what they want. And um, the beauty about digital landlords is it allows everybody to be able to be a part of uh, the real estate uh, market mm. based on what they can afford. So once again, the mm. way we've been able to juggle it is to make sure that this problem is solving this, uh, sorry, this solution is solving this problem, which leads to solving, an, which leads to solving another problem. Mm. And it's, it just I don't know how to explain it. It's it's basically step it's step it's step down approach. Mm-hmm. So one problem, uh, one solution solves this problem, which leads to this solution and that solution. How long has um short lent, short let homes been in existence? It's actually um a few months old in terms I... of registration, oh, but no. um just over a year. Over a, year. a few months old for short let homes, but operating for over so, a year. So like, how profitable has it has it been? We thank God. We thank God. <laughs> <laughs> The roads to being average, there's so much traffic. Mm. Everybody wants to be average. Everybody wants that same thing. But mm. the road to being exceptional is um, very little traffic on there. And I thought, okay, if I'm going to do this thing, I need to be different. And what exactly is the problem I'm solving? Well, mm. people want a home away from home. When I leave the UK or the US or Abuja to come to Lagos, I'm looking for a home away from home. Why don't you just make luxury standard? Uh, your network will determine your net worth. I didn't have enough money. I had only I only had enough money to buy mine. Mm-hmm. I didn't have enough money to buy the many others that we had. So I got in touch with a number of my friends and I created a financial forecast. I created a forecast and said, this is the rental income compared to local rental income. It's high yield. You're looking at 455% to 560%. And um, instead of you guys buying an entire house together. How about we come together and put the little we can afford? Do one. See how it goes. Then go mm-hmm. back and do the little we can afford. And that's how we created Digital Landlords. Mm-hmm. It's basically everybody coming together, yeah. using a platform to invest what they can afford. And that 
becomes a unit that buys one property and we carry on from there. And that's how we started. What makes you stand out? Like, is there any... I think, or is it just because it's you? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I think um, uh, I'm, I may be the face of the company, but there mm-hmm. are amazing people that make that company what it is. Without them, I don't think we'll be here. I'm just the face, just, you know. Um, and I think uh, the vision matters to us, and mm-hmm. that is a home, um, a home away from home. What would you say your major mission is with this business? There, there are two faces. That's why um, I paused. So, uh, the first one is to create real estate affordability for uh, profitability for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, that is, you don't have to have millions of naira in your account before you can jump into real estate. Mm. Somebody who is on 150k per month can basically tap into this business and benefit from it. So, real estate profitability for everyone. Mm. And then the uh, other one is um, a home. Basically, we want to be the Airbnb of Nigeria. Let's just put it plain and simple. I think mm. uh, you've got to dream big, and um, yeah, and if not, I go agree. Home. Yeah, so right now I think we're doing quite well, and um, let's just put it out there. Yeah, we're, we're looking to be the Airbnb of Nigeria. One of the major things a lot of businesses talk about in Nigeria is the fact that customer service isn't the best. Mm-hmm. Um, but I always like to ask the business owners about how customers customer experience. I mean, you know, how they're able to juggle through um, giving customers like the best value. You know, mm-hmm. when there are issues, because issues do arise, mm-hmm. you know, every now and then. Yeah. Every now and then. Yeah. Put the customer first, okay? Have a customer centric approach to everything you do. Customers, mm-hmm. number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also understand that um, it's not okay for one customer to mess things up for every other customer. And within the short let industry, within the hospitality business, we have a small number of people that feel entitled. Somebody pays. 80k 100k for a night and they feel it's their right mm. to take the cigarettes to smoke in the property and basically put the cigarette off on the coffee table Never and when you are when you question them and say hey what, what's going on you're not so there's no smoking in the property am i not paying for it no the property <laughs> you didn't pay for the property you paid to stay in the property and you don't have the right to abuse the property my approach i just try to manage the situation i feel like there's always a common ground we can always agree on some things you know mm-hmm. So, best approach is always applied. We just have a conversation and dialogue, and eventually we become friends and talk it out. Mm. It's not every time that we arrive. It's not every time that we arrive. Yeah. But looking at you, Sophia, I feel like every t- I would say you're right every time. <laughs> <laughs> he who chases fantasy will come to poverty. Getting rich quick is a fantasy. You've got to build your business over time. You don't need to go and spend crazy amount of money on uh, uh, on advertising, you just need to focus on building your customer base. Then, when you build that customer base, then spend crazy amount of money on advertising to the friends of those customer base mm. who are connected to you on social media. Mm, yeah. Get more value for your money that way. Mm. So we've come to the end of the show, Ruth. I'll let you close for us today. Um, I'm going to close with the quote of the day. Yeah, mm. a mind is like a parachute. It doesn't work if it isn't open. That's true, guys. Did you hear that? By Frank Zappa. By Frank Zappa. Period. Period. (laughs) 3.3.